So what an interesting story this video is going to be. Um, the random commenter who got me to do uh, Moonlight Serenade by Glenn Miller joined Patreon. And uh, this is his request for the month. So welcome, Scott. Thank you uh, for your support, brother. I appreciate you. This is going to be fun. I can already tell. Hi, guys. Welcome to the Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And uh, yeah, we are back with the band 10CC. And the song is called I'm Not In Love. Um... It was uh, released in 1975 um, from the band's third album, the original soundtrack. Uh, it became the second of the group's three number one singles in the UK between 73 and 78, uh, topping the singles charts for two weeks over there um, and other countries as well. Um, I've never heard of them before, but the video for it, it, I guess this was in Guardians of the Galaxy, which I have seen before, so maybe I've heard parts of it before, I don't know. Looks like it's a very popular song, so um, let's go. Thank you again, Scott, and uh, we'll see what happens. If y'all aren't subscribed, please help brother out. Click that icon right below my face. I'd really appreciate it. it takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free, and it really helps channel out. All right. 10 CC. I'm not in love. In three, two, one, go. Featuring Peter Quill's uh, tape deck. <laughs> Monday, baby, let's go. If you're watching the air premiere, that doesn't make any sense probably if you're not watching it. <laughs> on that day. I'm not in love, so don't forget it. It's just a silly face. I'm going. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't remember that's from the movie at all.
that's so cool. That's crazy they got this in 75 with the effects and everything. I wonder how they did it all. That was almost like a religious experience, dude. Like, what? That that felt like some like a song, like something else disguised as a song. I don't know what to describe it as, but like, I don't know. It almost felt like a prayer, almost, or some kind of hymn, a hymnal. I don't know if that. Like, I, I know they did like some kind of like vocal layering or whatever they were doing there it just, or it was just the keyboard I don't know but that was just that was fantastic that was transcendent at points man some of those like Tony Banks-esque kind of Genesis heaven sounds as I call them because we've done a lot of Genesis on this channel God knows we have and um at points it reminded me of like Phil era Genesis but then when it got into the ambient effects and sort of stuff like that it reminded me of like uh, the Peter era uh, Genesis, which is very interesting that this one song had both eras kind of in it at the same time, but it, at the same time, it is also its own thing. Um, I don't know. Let's see if who's got what on here. Um, all right. So Eric Stewart on lead vocals and electric piano. Okay. All right. It makes sense. Graham Goldman on guitar, bass guitar, backing vocals, uh, Kevin Godley on the Moog. Oh, okay. And the backing vocals, LOL Cream, <laughs> LOL Cream on the piano and backing vocals. Wait, who? His name? Okay, his name is Lawrence. All right. And he goes by LOL. All right. I'm about to say his name is actually LOL. That's funny. And then, um, Kathy Redfern was the lady who was, uh, doing the whisper there. That's funny how Wikipedia has that. Um, Wow, yeah, the lead vocals from Eric Stewart were just captivating at points, just beautiful, and just the way that everything, like I said, I keep saying layers, but the sound, like, for 1975, like, that sounded like something that would came out in, like, 2009 or 2010, you know, sort of, with the uh, the, the uh, electronic ambient sort of effects and sounds, which I don't think really didn't get, you know, widely available. I mean, it's been available since forever, like using the Moog and synthesizers and stuff. But nowadays, it's way more prevalent in music. It was way more prevalent during the dubstep eras where everything was just like computer noises and stuff like that, which I like some of the stuff, actually, because I thought some of it was interesting, like because it's just like the soundscape in general. Like if you see me close my eyes and just listen, I'm just, you know, just imagining it in my head and seeing it all. And it's... That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Um, I've never heard of these guys before, which is a absolute crime. Um, and, and James Gunn, the guy who directed uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, I know he is a music aficionado. So if it's on the soundtrack, then it's a good track. And uh, I'm glad we listened to it because that was fucking phenomenal. Um, like I said, I got to go with Eric Stewart's lead vocal, electric piano, and then Kevin Godley on the Moog. All the backing vocals, the piano, like literally everything in this was great. And then like that soft undercurrent of like, it almost sounded like Steely Dan. Like that, the the part, the song that's in there, that's at the beginning and the end, kind of like that really, like uh, it's under the music the entire time. It's kind of just like this low sort of, you know, sound compared to like the the heavenly sort of key sounds. It's, it's really weird actually how they did it, but it worked out great. I love that. Um... Thank you to uh, Scott for sending that in. That was, wow, definitely a change up for the channel, but not really at the same time. I think we've gotten, um, I think this name is coming up, uh, has come up before in the chat and stuff for bands to do. So 
Thank you very much for saying that in. I am so down for more by these guys. You have no idea. That was um, one of those songs that just gets me hook, line, and sinker, and I just want to listen to more now. And it sucks because I'm such an honest guy that I don't just go and listen to everything now because I, you know what I'm saying? But I save it for the channel because I want to give y'all my honest, you know, reaction, obviously, to it. So it's, uh, I hate finding bands like this where I'm like, well, damn, now I have to wait. But it's all good. I do this for you guys and you guys do so much for me that it's a, it's a two-way street and I appreciate y'all so fucking much. I really do. Like, thank you for everything you do for me and my family. Um, I would not be able to uh, take care of them without you. And it is uh, humbling to say such things, but it's true. And I just like to remain grateful and uh, just be appreciative of everything that I do have and uh, just keep working and striving to be better. And that's what songs like this make me want to do is just be better and uh, just push forward, man. Because, like, yeah, life can suck. Life can be brutal sometimes. Um, but we do get those small uh, unfiltered moments of light where we do see the sparkle and shine in the world, you know, and, uh, it's not so dim there for a minute or two. And then it, you know, the ever eternal black returns, but it is what it is. That was great. If you guys have any other tracks by 10 CC that you think I'd like, please leave them below. I'll definitely add them to the list. Cause that was, uh, mwah, right up my alley as they say, well, as I say, I don't know. Thanks for watching guys. If y'all know you Patreon right here, that's a picture of it. There is a link in the description. If you join the $10 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Um, there's also a PayPal link in the description as well. If you want to send a request in that way or a tip or anything like that, that is the way to do it. Um, you can join any of the tiers to get access to all of our Patreon exclusive videos. I just posted a reaction to Revolution 9 by the Beatles yesterday, uh, which is a mindfuck of a song, quote unquote. But uh, definitely inspired a lot of thoughts afterwards. Um, as most Beatles songs do, <laughs> uh, but yeah, join any tier, get access to all that stuff, the full album reactions, all kinds of stuff on there. And we have a great community. We have a discord server and everyone's chatting in there all the time. And I pop in once in a while. It's a good time. We'd love to have you. And was, and, uh, and then, uh, and I think there's a PayPal link in the description. If I put it there, I usually do though. That's for, uh, you know, whatever. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Bye. Go.